Oh boy! Do we have an interesting case in Judge DeSanto's courtroom? It is chock full of threats, guns, and TPOs. So sit back and get your popcorn ready, as we watch this seemingly innocent landlord-tenant case morph into absolute pandemonium. Enjoy! And so, I apologize, counsel, I was uh, stuck into a meeting, so it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. But we are going to go on the record in the matter of David Sims versus Shakoriana Daniels, all other occupants, 23601. And appearance, Mr. Rourke? Yeah, Ron, uh, Your Honor, Ron Rourke for the plaintiff, David Sims, is also in court this afternoon. Okay, thank you very much. And Mr. Sims, your name for the record, please. David Sims. Okay, and Ms. Daniels, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Coriana Daniels. All right, today's date scheduled for a hearing in this matter. And <clears throat> Ms. Daniels, I know that this was set for 2.30 and at 2.45 you hadn't logged in yet. And so the court gave you some extra time to log in. And um, everybody I believe was supposed to be, not supposed to be present, but I thought that was in person, but in any event, um, so counsel, what's happening today? Well, Your Honor, this is a time set for bench trial. Uh, this is not a demand for possession case. It's a termination of tenancy case. We were here on April the 28th. The court had told uh, Ms. Daniels at that time to send in proof of payment. She had represented to the court that she had paid into 2023. Um, I requested two times for her to send the proof of payment. She has not done that at all. My client's contention is that she has not paid anything, uh, that he has not shut off the utilities um, in a malicious way. And therefore we're asking for a judgment of possession only. Okay, that's why I'm confused as to why everybody's on Zoom and not in person if this is a bench trial today. Because then, because I presume that there's Photos that you want me to see? I've sent over uh, two exhibits. Um, one is a letter from the um, Condo Association uh, indicating there's dog feces and other filth throughout the house. Um, it mentions a water leak. The other um, was my two emails where I asked her to provide proof of payment. Well, if you're referring to the March 24th date regarding notice to cure. No, I'm not referring to that at all, Your Honor. Okay, I don't have those exhibits, counsel. I, I sent them over just within the last 20, 30 minutes, Your Honor. It was just recent. Oh. Okay, so that's why everybody was supposed to have been in person, so that we're not doing all this by electronic means. Mm -hmm. Did you send a copy of that to Ms. Daniels? I have not done that, Your Honor. Uh, at that point, she had not showed up. Um, but the issue here is the fact that she said she had paid rent into the future. Now, if she had paid rent into the future, Honor, she'd have an argument because that would defeat a notice to quit. But I've asked her twice for proof of payment. She's provided nothing, Your Honor. And this is a termination of tenancy case. My guy needs the house back. And there is no lease, by the way, that I can provide the court. My tenant needs the house back so he can get it fixed up because he does admit this. There appear to be serious problems in the house that he has to address and then he wants to sell it. All right, Ms. Daniels, stop walking around. Stop walking around. Right. Ms. Daniels and Ms. Ms. Daniels and Mr. Sims, please raise your right hands. This is family. You solemnly swear for the testimony you're about to give in this matter be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's the issue, counsel, right? I'm going to presume, I'm going to be getting a whole lot of testimony that's going to need to be supported by exhibits. Everybody was supposed to have been in person, yet everybody's appeared on Zoom. I don't know. If this, if this is a trial, everybody should be here in person. So I don't know how far we're going to get today. Ms. Daniels, you've indicated that you've paid rent. Yes. What date did you pay the rent? 
did um September the the um event was made um the twenty uh twenty second and I said lawyer with oh, stop, um, stop stop you're breaking up and I'm not catching all of your words. Can you hear me better now? Yes. I um sent over a copy um to the lawyer um uh, made an agreement um through my um DHS worker the copy of the um lease it states the address it's information it states how much was paid that it is a year i sent that over to when, hold on when did you send it when did you send it to mr roar can, can i give me okay you're talking i can see it looks moving but i'm not hearing anything you're saying i said i'm pulling it up in my email okay I sent that over to Mr. Ron moment. It was sent on May the 2nd. I sent him a copy Mr. of Mr. Ruach, do you have a copy of that? I do not, Your Honor. I do have several emails from Ms. Daniels. I do not have anything on May the 2nd. I have May 15th and before that, April 28th. I do have a copy, Your Honor. Well, and how do you want me to see that copy? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I was a, I was unaware that we were supposed to come in person. I thought I just wanted to be in the room. I didn't know we had to. I'm sorry. Okay, and again, your audio is not coming, is not having every word coming all the way through. So this is not going to be productive use of everybody's time at all. Your Honor, we were not informed yes. that we had to be here in person. Um, right. You know, I, I you know. So again, my client will testify that he has not received any payment from anyone, uh, um, which would defeat the notice to quit and that he's entitled, I believe, I would argue he's entitled to possession of this judgment as a matter of law. Ms. Daniels, what is the last date of a payment that you made? Um, I paid him for the, what happened was he had, I'm sorry, you paid him for the what? Paid him for the year. I paid him in advance my DHS um, work. It wasn't just okay. through me. Yeah, right. Ms. Daniels, what yes. email address did you send the email to on May 2nd? It's B-A-N-I-E-L-S-S-H-A-1-2-3 what email? That's, no, that's, that's your email, email address. What email? Oh. I have this. Thank you. Just one moment. Just one moment. One can speak at a time. Which email did you send the email to regarding your May second payment? No, I judge. I, I sent the email to him May the second. Aware of all regarding to the payment. I didn't make a payment made to say. I understand that. I just asked you, where, which email did you send that to? That's what I asked you. I sent that to one moment here. It is R O N A L D R U A at gmail.com. That is my address. If she wants to forward it to me right now, we can adjourn for 15 minutes. I'll be glad to look at it. I I'm not adjourning this for 15 minutes. Everyone's coming back on Wednesday, Wednesday, June 7th. I'm not doing this on Zoom. This is too difficult. Ms. Daniels is not having good audio. Everybody has the item that they want this court to review. I'm not doing it on Zoom. Absolutely not. Okay. Your Honor, can we do it in the morning on that date? Let me see what our docket is. I don't know what it is. Um, I can do it anytime in the morning um, or later in the afternoon. So I've got a 130 meeting down to the When you say later in the afternoon, what does that mean? 3 30. 3 30? I don't know how late the courts open. Well, I mean, I'll, I've been known to stay here till 10 o'clock at night for a jury trial. However, my staff does not. Um, 3 o'clock would be okay. See, I, can, I can make it by 3 o'clock. Please let me finish, counsel, before you interrupt the court. We can only record one thing at a time. So, 
I have no problem staying after 4.30, but my staff will not be staying after 4.30 that day. So we make exceptions for um, jury trials and preliminary examinations that have to be conclude, concluded, but um, we don't have overtime, that much overtime in our budget, unfortunately. So um, you said three o'clock? I could do three o'clock, Your Honor. All right, let me. Her Honor. Get my court officer just went to grab the other, um, grab the docket so I can look to see what that says. Yes, Mr. Sims. He's a chance, but Your Honor, can I speak to my attorney on a sidebar? Okay, we'll go off the record for a moment. Breakout room one. Thank you, Your Honor. David, go to the breakout room. Was. He was concerned, Your Honor. Okay, hold on. Let, okay, let, we're back on the record in the matter of David Sims versus Shakoriana Daniels, 23601. All right, and counsel, what was what's the concern? His concern is simply that he believes there's been a PPO filed against him by Ms. Daniels, but that PPO has not been served. <laughs> Ms. Daniels, did Ms. Daniels, did you file a PPO against Mr. Sims? Yes, and I gave information to the lawyer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Problem. Do you and Mr. Sims reside at the same property? Um, no, Mr. Sims does reside at the property, but he used the address. So there's no known address to get through to. And when did you file this PPO against Mr. Sims? Um, it was moment. Oh, it was filed. March 1st of 2023. And did you get that ex parte or did you have a hearing? Um, no, I don't know the difference, Your Honor. I didn't have a hearing though. Okay, so you filed an ex parte without any notice to Mr. Sims. And yes. what was it that you alleged that you need a personal protection order from Mr. Sims if he doesn't live with you? Um, he has guns, Your Honor. I'm a convicted felon, so I can't be around guns for one. He has threats that I have video. Hold on. Time out, time out, time out. We're taking one at a time. He has guns. Are the guns at your property? Not anymore. I had to um, remove them from the home. When did you remove them from the home? Um, I would have to um pawn shop but i believe it they, they weren't so they were but i believe it was, um sometime in march or february I don't know that date. well ma'am you filed the personal protection order so you should darn well know when they were removed from the home <clears throat> hey, i moved them out of the home i don't want to just give you a rough you know a rough day i don't know exactly i've been going through a lot <laughs> Before oh, no. or after you filed for the PPO? Before but or after you filed for the PPO? It was after. The police were um, okay. called. So you filed the PPO because Mr. Sims had guns. Uh, and that's a father myself. I know how. That was one of the reasons. Okay. What's the other reason? Um, He was, there was an incident where he, um, multiple incidents where he has hopped out of the a car with my kids. I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Okay. There has been times where he has tried to grab the steering wheel of the car. Um, while my kids are in there, he's tried to run us off the road. Police have had multiple comments about this. It stop. just- it, when, when did, Stop. When yeah. did he try to grab the steering wheel? Um, this was August 22nd. I mean, August of 2022. And when did he try to run you off the road? No, run me off the road. He tried to, he was in the car and he grabbed a steering wheel and tried to get up off the road. And that was August of 2022? Yes, it was. Okay, what's the next reason? Um, January 1st, he made a threat. January 1st of 2023, he made a threat that he was going to take me and my family. 
in the back um, backwoods and he was going to shoot us and put a bullet in our head. I'm going to shoot you. Wow. Here, let me just speak to you. Right. Listen, listen. The, the first was Mr. Sims. You cannot have. You cannot make any comments. We're on the record. No comments. Um, may I say something, Your Honor? Not yet. Okay, what else? He's threatened harm to my kids. Um, part yeah, of the- I, You're telling me, listen, you're, I, clearly you can figure out that I want specific information. So you continue to give me, please don't interrupt. You continue to give me generalizations. I want dates. You said you want dates? Yes. Can I just read you the incident that I wrote? No, I don't want the whole incident that you wrote. I So right now you said he claimed you that he had guns at the property. August of 2022, an incident. January of 23, an incident. What else? Okay, yeah, January 1st, August 22nd. Um, that was the only two that I put. I just gave a summary. I didn't just, you know, give them everything. You know, I just gave them a rough summary of the things that bothered me the most. So you were granted a PPO based on those two things? Um, based on those two things and then um, video proof, yes. What is the video proof? I have evidence. I Things, witnesses, all types of things. Evidence of what? Evidence of him putting his hands, evidence of him threatening to kill me and my kids. I have. Okay. You can ask him. I'm pretty sure he'll tell the truth because it's recorded. He knows that I recorded. Well, I'm not, I'm not going into all of that. I'm not going into back and forth right now. Mr. Okay. Rourke, so apparently there is a PPO. Um, and Ms. Daniels, has Mr. Sims been served with that PPO yet? Um, he was not number. Police officers have tried. We tried to get his address. So, so what I yeah, the answer is yes or no. Has he been served? Yes, through his lawyer. He was served. Yes. When? Been um, served. PPO. It was our Okay, I don't, I don't know if when you look away, I can't hear what you're saying, but please continue to talk right into your device. Okay. What's our last when was he served with the PPO? Our last court appearance. April 26th or 28th? Correct. And how do you know that that was the date he was served with the PPO? Because I served I'm sorry, what's that? I served him through the courts, through Zoom, through his lawyer. Um, okay, well, there's been a lot of changes to court rules since um, Zoom, and I have yet to see that you can serve somebody with a PPO via Zoom. Um, no, what the um, courts told me was that um, I could um, go ahead, you can, it's all recorded, was that I could go ahead give it to him through his lawyer, and then it would be up to the courts to accept they accepted it. <laughs> we had no other way of serving him, no address, and him using the same address that I'm at, we had no way to serve him. Mr. Roark, first of all, um, the court does need your client's address because um, he doesn't live at Mulberry, so if you can please email in his address because we don't have that. Second, there seems to be a PPO Obviously, there's a question about service. So um, we can start next Wednesday off with a bang and start this at 8.30 in the morning if you'd like. I prefer that, Your Honor. Everybody has to be in person Wednesday, June 7th at 8.30. Yes, Ms. Daniels? Um, also, there is another. Um, I'm sorry. You're, I'm not catching every word. I apologize for this. Uh, there's another court date that um, for um, his association. 
What does that mean? Where's that court date at? Well, right along with Mr. I'm sorry? Um, the association that Mr. Sims has, um, they filed a motion on the 17th um, to have me evicted and to think that I have court with them. So can you say? Okay, Ms. Daniels, I'm sorry, but I'm really kind of losing my patience, which I seem to have a lot of according to people. I'm not getting all of your words. And can you, so now I'm looking at your ceiling. Can you hear me now? That's because I have to speak into my phone. Can you hear me now? Is now I can. So don't look away when you're no put put it back down facing your face. Okay. Closer, closer. Do not Better? look away when you're talking. Okay. Better. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see if you say more than a few words. So there's another court date. That's why I'm talking to you like this. I'm talking directly into my mic. Okay, but that's not working either. I thought you were trying to sign out with a different device. Oh, I am. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what's the other court date for? Um, fiction thing for the same reason, same thing. Did you get that? You said the same thing? Yeah, it's for it's for it for the same unit. Who filed that? His association. They put. Okay, so okay, listen. This isn't working. I'm not getting. I'm not getting all of your. I'm not getting all of your words. Um, when's the next? You know, there's another court date. What? What's the date? Do you know of any court date, Mr. Ruar? I do not, Your Honor. I know the association is very concerned about the situation, but I have not been given notice of any court date. Ms. Daniels, when is that court date? That court date is June the 9th at 8.30 in the morning. I have the two days before that prior to sit with um, my lawyer to figure that out. Well, we can always have everybody at the same time on June 9th. <laughs> right. Your Honor, I've got a um, a final settlement conference. I've got to be there in person on June 9th. What time? You, uh, it's a nine o'clock settlement conference on June the 9th. Okay, in we're going to see everybody there on this matter June 7th, and we're going to see if we can move the other matter up to June 7th. 8.30 a.m. in person. I don't want there to be any question in person. Bring all of your documentation that you want this court to review at that time. Ms. Daniels, you need, to, you need to send anything that you'd like this court to review to Mr. Ruark and Mr. Counsel, same for you. I will, Your Honor. Um, can okay. I ask one question? Um, what about, how do you- how I'm sorry, can I, I bring lost that you after what about? What about video evidence? Can I bring that? You can bring it in, but you have to have a device to play it on. And then you can screen share it. You can zoom in from that device and screen share it. Okay. So if you want to Google up how to screen share on Zoom, you have a week to do it. Okay, okay. Wait, it's not on Zoom, Your Honor. We got to be in person. Yes, I'm aware of that, ma'am. But if you have a video evidence that you would bring in a device that you want that video evidence to play on, and while you're here in the courtroom, you will zoom in, and then you will be able to screen share what it is you want to be played. But you have to do okay. it from your device. Okay. Anything else? Nothing, Your Honor. Um, yeah, there is one thing, Your Honor. Um, I've tried to um, get through to his lawyer. Um, he's got some major um, pairs and they need to get in contact with him to get them permission to. I'm sorry, who do you need permission for what? Um, to get them permission to get in contact with him. Mr. Sims' um, association needs his um, permission to come in and make some repairs. He's got a mold and water damage situation going on. Okay, and so Mr. Roark, you're aware of that? 
I'm aware that she's making allegations about mold and water damage. Yes, Your Honor. I'd be glad to relay the information to my client. But with the PPO in place, it makes it difficult. Well, yeah, for that, but giving permission to for somebody to go into the home for maintenance purposes doesn't require your client to be present, does it? No, it does not, Your Honor. No, it does not. One okay. more thing. I'm sorry. It's kind of a That's serious. Right. I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything else. I said um, one more thing, Your Honor, because it's kind of a serious situation. This is not allegations. I have kids here. This is serious. It... What is that? That's my question. That's where the mold and the water damage. This is serious. It's not a joke. <laughs> I just want to. Hear... It... How long has only the subfloor been there and not a floor above it? Um, about three weeks. Okay, and so ma'am, what do you want this court to do within one week for that situation? I just wanted his lawyer to see those allegations. I wanted to be serious, so please you know, communicate because it is serious. So what I'm getting from every few words is that she's indicating that it's a serious situation. She would like for you to handle that with your client. I, yep. I would advise my client to send over a plumber or something to address the situation. Now. But that plumber has to be given access to the property. You can call me anytime. Well, Mr. Sims cannot call you anytime. No, the lawyer. All right. Anything else? Nothing, Your Honor. All right. We'll see everybody back next Wednesday, 8 30 a.m. Thank you. Thanks, Your Honor. Wow. Just wow. I will keep you posted for the in person hearing on June 7th. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Time Served. Bye bye for now.